So can it really design a whole website from just a sketch? That is really, really impressive. Let's try creating an interactive data dashboard from this random Excel file. Wow, that's actually pretty neat. Okay, I'm gonna ask it to build a 3D game world and holy cow, it's actually doing it. Guys, my mind is absolutely blown right now. So Claude 3.5 Sonnet just dropped last week and let me tell you guys, it's probably the most impressive large language model I've seen, especially when it comes to coding and visual outputs. It's way, way ahead of OpenAI's GPT-40. Now everyone's talking about this new artifacts feature that Anthropic has released with their new model, which lets you run and see the code Claude generates right in the interface. And it's a total game changer, guys. In this video, we're gonna dive deep into what Claude Artifacts can do. I've spent the last few days putting it through its paces, and I'm gonna show you some mind-blowing examples. We'll look at its strengths, check out its limitations, and I'll share some cool tricks I've discovered to get even better results. Plus, we'll compare it to some other platforms like GPT-40 and Anthropic's own Claude 3 Opus. Now before we dive into the video, make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. Alright, with that said, let's see why Claude Artifacts is the biggest AI innovation this year. Alright, so before we start talking about this new Artifacts feature, let's rewind a bit and talk about Anthropic's fastest and greatest model yet, Claude 3.5. So Claude 3.5 is their latest AI model, and it's a significant leap forward in AI capabilities. And it's not just an incremental update GPT-40 over GPT-4, it's a major advancement that pushes the boundaries of what LLMs can do. So one of the most impressive aspects of Claude 3.5 that Anthropic showcased is its ability to understand and execute complex tasks with minimal prompting. Whether it's coding, analysis, or creative projects, Claude 3.5 can often deliver impressive results with just one or two prompts. Before, if you have used, say, Claude 3 Opus or GPT-40, you'd know just how many prompts are required to get that result you're looking for. And even with the most perfect prompt, you'd be lucky to get perfect results in the first try, especially if you're new to prompt engineering. And this is where Claude 3.5 excels, really. As you saw in the start of the video, with just a single basic prompt, we were able to create entire websites, entire games that just worked. Now, Claude 3.5 also shows remarkable consistency and accuracy across a wide range of tasks. From coding to writing to analysis, Claude maintains a relatively high level of performance. Another standout feature is this model's ability to handle multimodal inputs. It can analyze images, interpret charts and graphs, and even work with complex data visualizations. This makes it incredibly versatile for a wide range of applications. And going back to prompting here just for a minute, Claude 3.5 really excels at following instructions precisely. And I believe that is why it requires minimal prompting. It's able to understand nuanced requests and deliver outputs that closely match what the user is looking for. Now in terms of language understanding and generation, I'd say it's much, much better than GPT-4 and even 4.0. Responses from Claude show a deep grasp of context and nuance. Its responses are often more natural and human-like than GPT or Anthropic's previous AI models. The model's knowledge base is also expansive and up-to-date, which allows it to excel in creative tasks. This is one of the most exciting aspects of Claude 3.5. It can generate original ideas, assist with brainstorming, and even help with tasks like game design or storytelling. Now before we get into the demonstrations and examples of Claude 3.5, I just want to quickly go through some benchmarks. So in language understanding, Claude 3.5 is setting new standards. It achieved a remarkable 88.7% on the MMLU benchmark, which tests knowledge across a staggering 57 subjects. This already puts Claude 3.5 ahead of GPT-4 and other leading models, which were more around the 85% range. When it comes to coding, it's certainly one of the best out there. On the Human Evil benchmark for Python coding, it scored an impressive 92.0%. Perhaps even more surprising is Claude 3.5's performance in advanced mathematics. The math benchmark saw Claude 3.5 score 71.1%, and that is really, really impressive considering Anthropic's own previous model, Claude 3 Opus sits at just 60.1%, while Llama 400B achieved just 57.8%. GPT-40 still takes the lead here with 76.6%. In tests of reasoning, Claude 3.5 is approaching human-like performance. It scored an impressive 59.4% on the Diamond benchmark, which was above GPT-40's 50.4% score. Alright, so enough about the benchmarks and the numbers, let's see how it actually practically performs. 
So I guess the big elephant in the room here is the new artifacts feature, which we briefly discussed in the start of the video, but let's now take a few minutes to explore this fully. So just to quickly explain what artifacts is, it's basically like a supercharged version of ChatGPT's code interpreter, but it's so much more powerful and versatile. And I guess this is what makes Claude 3.5 even cooler than the model upgrade. It's this incredible UI interface with a crazy powerful backend that lets you create full web apps, generate complex visualizations, and do all sorts of wild stuff right in the chat window. I've been having an absolute blast combining Claude 3.5 Sonnet with Artifacts, and the possibilities are just insane. And just before we dive into the samples, you can actually try this right now on your free Claude account. Just enable the feature preview for Artifacts and you're good to go. You can build anything from React components, interactive games, data visualizations, all without writing a single line of code yourself. It's like having a full stack developer and designer at your fingertips, only this time it's powered by cutting edge AI. All right, so let's dive into the meat of this thing. I've been scouring Reddit, Twitter, and basically every corner of the internet to find the coolest use cases people have come up with for Claude artifacts. And let me tell you, it's absolutely wild what people are doing with this. First up, let's talk about web development. You can literally just ask Claude to make me a landing page, and that's it. It'll spit out a full React component using packages like Tailwind, ShadCN, and more. And the crazy part is that it previews it right there in the chat window. You don't need to copy-paste into CodePen or anything, but it gets even better. I saw this incredible example from a user on X who asked Claude to build an entire game. So Claude just goes and generates this whole game, complete with state management, game logic, and all of it just works. And the best part here is that you can keep refining it in real time. Like here you can see the background image wasn't loading, the user mentioned it to Claude, and there you go. It went and fixed the code right away. Now if you're thinking this is just for simple stuff, I want you to think again. Another user got Claude to create a full-on dashboard using data from a CSV file they uploaded. Everything from building React components, data visualization, theming, everything. It kind of actually makes you wonder at this point, like why would you need a data analyst or say a UI designer to build you a dashboard when you've already got AI doing such a remarkable job? Of course, I'm not saying data analysts are going out of commission anytime soon, but AI is here to take jobs, that's for sure. Anyway, there's tons of more examples that you definitely should check out. SVG generation, mermaid diagrams for flowcharts, HTML rendering. The possibilities here are just mind boggling. And let's not forget, this is all powered by Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which like we saw earlier is blazing fast. I'm talking noticeably quicker than GPT-4, which was already impressive in speed. It's honestly incredible how fast things are moving both at the model level and the application level, we're seeing innovations not just in raw AI capability, but in how we interact with and utilize these models. So what do you think? Have you tried Claude Artifacts yet? If you have any wild ideas for what I should test next or what kind of video you want to see, drop a comment below. And hey, if you haven't given this a shot yet, what are you waiting for? Head over to Claude, sign up, and start playing around. Trust me, you're going to be amazed at what you can create. So that was all for this video. If you liked the video, why not like and subscribe? It's sure to help the channel and motivate me to continue doing what I do. If on the other hand you didn't like the video, please let me know in the comments below so that I can improve my mistakes. As always, you've all been fantastic. Stay tuned for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and goodbye.